kind of do. So the reason why I <laughs> hounded um, for this was because um, Jamie, my partner, was like, oh my God, this is the most amazing thing I've ever tried. Like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And so um, we had a, a, probably bought about five bottles over Christmas. I don't think I told. Um, wow. That. Yeah. And Incredible. that was when Amazon had it in stock. Now it's not in stock anymore. By five, I could probably give you one for free. I should do a deal or something. <laughs> Next Christmas, <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> so um, I know you're rushing around and thank you very much for joining no, it's us. An honor. It's an absolute honor. I mean, you are just, if for anyone who doesn't know, Katie has been running at the BBC Good Food Show when I met her, just the most incredible um, array of foods that she goes out and curates and she finds all of these incredible producers and puts them all, if you've never been to the BBC Good Food Show, you should do it. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. There's always something new to see there. And she's just tireless, just trying to find the most cool stuff out there. Um, she calls me every five years to fill the spaces, so I just turn up. Um, you might see me once every five years selling booze, but I, I, appreciate, I appreciate that call, Katie. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, so can you tell us um, how best that we taste this? So this is alcohol for anyone that just isn't clear. Um, I did actually say that there wouldn't be any alcohol in the box because I didn't think I could do it. But um, uh, yeah, sorry, there's a couple of people I think maybe that didn't manage to get a pouch. I'm really sorry if you didn't. Um, but can you you open it? I didn't, but anybody who didn't get a pouch, contact Amy. Um, it's not going to be with you until next week, but I will personally send you out one. Just contact Amy, okay? So I'm Katie. Yeah, contact Amy. Katie. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Susie, Emily. I've this Jane. There's so many <laughs> names. Lisa, Jane, Josephine. Every name except Amy, I think, right? <laughs> no, who's Amy? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm sorry. No, yeah. Amy's my friend in France. I was just on the phone too. Anyway. Um, Yes, yeah, so 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 um, for all of those people that don't have one, I will send you. Um, it's basically a miniature in your pouch, and I suppose it's crack on. Yeah, grab yourselves a glass. Open it. How? And um, pour it into a glass. I, I can't and... open mine. How do you open it? <laughs> oh well, you should just twist it. Yes. Not working for you. No. Okay, Josephine, oh, don't. I've done it. I've done it. I've, You've I've done, done it. Okay, because you could always have scissors. Now, guys, just so you know, there's 50 mil in here, so it's just the same as a miniature, but it's a it's a biodegradable little pouch. It's just maybe a bit better for the environment, and we are using organic ink that I kind of stamp myself, so it's just a bit better. So first things first. Have you got them in your? Have you, got, oh. have you got it? Glug 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 glug. Have you got it? Okay. So Josephine, that's it. Look at everyone. Josephine is doing it um, not correctly, but as the WSEP, the Wine Spirit Education Trust, would have you do it. Hold the glass up and just have a look at the liquid. You're asking yourself some questions. Can you see through the liquid? Is it thick? Is it viscous? Is there a colour to it? Then you put it to your nose. Okay. Way again. Back to your nose and then away again. And then this is the top trick here, okay? Grab your arm, smell your skin, and you neutralize your palate, and go for one third one. And what you should have is kind of, obviously, um, does anybody want to shout what they smell? In terms of, uh, it, if you do it through the pouch, Jane, then you won't be able to smell it because it just funnels up. If you do it in a glass, then you're, you're kind of allowing it to breathe a little bit. Mm. Anyone got any kind of what do you think it is? Cherries. Oh, okay. Yeah. Almonds. Cherries. So these are um, sour cherries from the Vistula in Poland. Mm. Black cherry. And you take 80% of the cherries and you take the stone out. 20% you keep the stone in. And the stone gives you that marzipan effect. However, Whatever you do, never ever crack open the stone of a cherry because it's 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 quite poisonous. So when you're doing it, you have to be very, very careful with it. Hence, this is why kind of not many people attempt to make this old cherry recipe, but it's delicious. 
So what you're going to do is then have that sort of maybe kind of in your mouth. This is now 40%, four zero. And yeah. I, I always think that if you were to have this frozen as a shot next to a dessert, so say for example, you're making like a crumble or a fruit pie or something like that. That's something that really kind of super high-end restaurants are doing at the moment. And if you have your guests over, pudding, little shot of something quite delicious, beautiful way to do it. For any of you who want to hit party mode, try it with some Coca-Cola and then you have a cherry cola. Anyone remember the 90s? Delicious. <laughs> and lastly, this is a little bit complicated, but all you have to do is get some coffee, whether you have Nescafe or real coffee or those pods or anything like that. Put them in a shaker, a jam jar. It doesn't really matter. Shake them up and you're making a Black Forest espresso martini. Oh, oh. Top trick, get some dark chocolate and shave it all over the top and you'll be a rock star for life. <laughs> I hope that there are good tastes. <laughs> Anybody who wants to know how we make it, we take all of these cherries and we sit them in some of this beautiful Polish potato vodka that um, we make uh, on our family farm in Poland. We've been there for about 30 years. Now we take all of those cherries and they sit for about just, uh, just under a month. Now we then take all the juice away and all of those cherries that remain, we put some a simple white um, uh, granular sugar on top. And the sugar sits on the cherries and releases a secondary amount of juice. And you combine both of those back together. So you don't just have what I would describe as a one dimensional kind of cherry. It's got sort of a bit more to it than that. And that's how you make it. And should any of you be on the social media, I will, I will tell you one thing, just for, just for a laugh, just for a laugh. Last week, um, and I was very lucky and out of the blue, sorry, out of the blue, didn't know it was going to happen. They took the, they took the vodka on morning with Philip Schofield and all those people. And if you I'm not going to tell you what happened. But if you go and just hype on Instagram or Facebook Vestal Vodka. Have a look at his reaction. It's quite priceless. It's it's exquisite. <laughs> We'll I hope that's hasn't it sold out that's... now as well though. Sorry, hasn't it sold out? Or it, we, yeah, we're we're lucky. They they um yeah it um it did sell out, but we're okay. We're back. We're back in stock. Where's the best to buy a place to buy it from? If anyone wants to buy some, if anybody wants to. If you just put into Amazon, they'll deliver it the next day, and they actually have the best price. Um, it's around about uh, between twenty and twenty two pounds. Um, if you feel, you know any any other kind of specialist retailer will have it. But um, I hate to push, you know, all of that money to Mr. Bezos because he's, you know, he, he's rich. He's very good at what he does. And I'm, I'm, it's quite an easy way to do it. We actually, we, we were buying from Amazon before Christmas and we were so desperate to get it before Christmas. Amazon didn't have any left and we had to pay like super duper rates to get like a bottle before Christmas. Um, Amy it's was actually... Sorry. Tommy, I would have driven up or you know gone on <laughs> thank you i'll know for this christmas <laughs> okay you know I'm, I'm expecting you know at least an overnight stay and some food and maybe chats you know and the kids the kids can play with the kids in the garden and go in the hot tub and yeah box them All that jazz. And we could just hang out as parents everyone can hang out um Deal. um i'll leave you guys do it i have a lovely thank place you. I hope that that was kind of short and sweet. And I'm sorry that um, it was all a bit rushed. Um, so have a wonderful evening. Casey, you're doing a great job. We salute you. Um, Thank you. You're the greatest food curator that I know. And I hope you carry on doing it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank bye, you for bye. coming. Have a Thank you. Nice Thank to you. See you. Bye. bye.